Good afternoon, folks. Uh, it has been a productive year, um, though, you know, 2016 hasn't really been the best year for most people, um, especially my American friends to the south. But uh, for myself, I've had a mixed 2016, and there's been a lot of troubles, and there's been a lot of annoyances, be it political or be it money-wise or be it whatever. You know, there's always something there to look down on or to, 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 to not be happy about. You think in your life, well, if, th if this wasn't here, it'd be better if it wasn't here. So, move a little closer. There we go. So, in this, I just want to uh, to let you know that as of January 1st, 2017, uh, my channel will be one year old, which is great. Um, this all started as just something to share playing videos with and turned into something a little more informative, actually a lot more informative for me. Um, I got to meet and talk with some very wonderful people. I got to get some opportunities to uh, make some lovely purchases and to learn a lot about history as well, especially in Irish music, parts of the history of Ireland, uh, parts of uh, learning the construction of drums better. And I've had some people who uh, I made into a list here, and I really wanted to put out a thank you video for the up and coming of one year. So this is a thank you video for the people I'm mentioning, and in no particular order. Um, so the first person who I really want to thank has actually been Mr. Andy Inns, who uh, runs Black Dog Radio, and, and you hopefully have been listening to his podcasts. I certainly have. Um, Andy uh, has been, for me, helpful in talking about researching playing styles, uh, drum information with regards to makers that I haven't had a chance to try, um, also getting to know some of the personalities of the makers to himself, um, as well as how to buy drums, what to look for and what not to look for uh, on the used market. Um, so what Andy has done is from at least on my consumer review side of things, been incredibly helpful because he's someone who has bought and recently has sold and is still selling drums. So, you know, thank you, Andy, for your time in conversations. Thank you in, you know, uh, one of my buys from you, which was my Metloff drum, um, as well as uh, your ongoing contributions with Black Dog Radio. You know, that's a really wonderful channel. Number two has been a more recent uh, a friend that I've been talking with and of course just did reviews of, uh, uh, Russell at Bridget Drums. Thank you for your friendship uh, and your continual enthusiasm. Like you, you, If you don't know Russell, he's got an amazing enthusiasm uh, for, for, for designing and trying new stuff. Um, you know, your donations to the show, your donations to my channel, those four drums, uh, that I never asked for. That was a completely wonderful and generous offer and generous gesture. And I've been more than happy to help do some of the sound recording for you. And I've been more than happy to talk with you about issues on design, talk with you about drum manufacturing, and, and more specifically, talk about the Canadian context of the Bauron in the market. What makes it different from, say, Ireland or the continental Europe? So thank you, Bridget Drums, um, for your enthusiasm and your ongoing support. Number three, I want to thank Finnegan Hill Irish Percussion. Uh, Brent Collier, uh, or Collier, Collier, I always have a hard time pronouncing your last name, Brent. Uh, I'm, I'm to apologize. 
coiler is what I believe I in my head what I'm saying so uh, my apologies again but Brent Brent at Finnegan Hill has probably been one of the biggest sources of drum construction information that I've had in the past year uh, he's hilarious he's funny he's thoughtful um, he makes wonderful drums um, he's taught me a fair bit about skin properties you know I, I had he offered very much a, a really good cross-link info for uh, tuning ring, tuning rim, and skin con and skin fabrications and things. Um, he's been a gold mine of knowledge and has been a quirky friend through the online world who has been continually supportive as well, um, and who, who for me at least, you know has been very very insightful into the bar and making world and that's saying that's that's not overstating it i'm quite understating it here so i can't really say enough thank you um another person is actually someone who's been viewing a fair bit and mr franz oldenburg uh sir you have regularly replied on my uh, YouTube videos and spelling mistakes and, 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 and things and you have provided probably more feedback on how to make the channel better than anyone else. I think um, that alone is worth mentioning. You, know, you should be mentioned in that because you've probably been one of the more constructive uh, viewers of and readers of my of, of my uh, uh, reviews and, and demonstrations and whatnot and content. So thank you Franz. Uh, I really, really appreciate that. That's been very helpful. And you've been doing this since, like, I think my first few videos. So you've been around. Um, Christian Hedvig Shack comes in to this, and I do thank Christian Hedvig Shack at our bar on the U um, because of his scientific gatherings of information with Rolf Fogels. And I'm going to put Rolf as a thank you in this as well because the two are partners in crime. Um, about circular membranes, drum design, information regarding drum history on, on Rolf's side, uh, the creative mar marketing and making processes. You know, Christian has been one of the most experimental builders that I've had a chance to talk to in the last year. And just by the sheer amount of different things he produces... Um, impresses me to no end and his passion for his work and his execution is phenomenal um, I do think he's one of the best carpenters for these drums in the world he certainly has one of the most user friendly websites um, so this passion he's got you can see it come out in every single instrument whether he's making a core line or whether he's you know producing really really high end custom drums so you know, uh, 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 I'm blown away by what he's been able to tell me and what he's been able to share. It's been very, very helpful. And, uh, you know, thank you for, for cross-posting uh, my TR Head review to your blog. I appreciate that. Um, Jim Hunter in Ottawa uh, of Jim Hunter Tippers, the gentleman who has made the majority of my um, custom tipper designs, and who also has produced more information than anyone else, at least in my asking, about wood species, how to handle it, how to clean up after it, um, lathing issues, um, how to do certain construction, um, his, uh, his uh, co contributions last, uh, last winter um, with a wonderful donation. You know, Jim Hunter, thank you very very much um, your tippers are wonderful and you have an incredible way of documenting your work that I haven't seen before you know you you document your work in ways that would make Germans blush <laughs> so there you go um, Rob Forkner at Matloff drums who has been very helpful in my quest to build a different type of bar on using brass and have it certain sonic properties, he has been extremely helpful in sort of changing some of my long-term goals about this project on how to use brass and 
you know, who to, who to cross-reference to with regards to using metal fabrication. Um, I, I, I don't have to say too much about his work. His work is pretty well known, if probably the most, at least from what the boards are telling me, and from what I've interviewed people over the year, is that his drums are probably in the highest demand. Um, he has been putting phenomenal amounts of effort, just like any other maker, but his waiting list is like two years long, and he's been very, very busy, and and you know balancing life and work and his time spent even with me you know answering my questions coming back with some very good technical details i really do appreciate that because it's very hard to find good information about people who have experimented with a double shell design or whatever so you know thank you rob and thank you metloff drums for your you know, your insight into drum construction you know that's a huge you know, that's, that's, that's a big thing for me when I draw up designs in the future. And the last one I want to thank is uh, Seamus O'Kane, who I did spend a little bit of time speaking with and, and through email and online. Sadly, not in person. I'm sure in person would have been so much better. But Mr. O'Kane, my last article that I wrote, which was featured about my thanks to him, is only my, the beginning of what my thanks for him are and and the fact that he is a name you know with a, a legend attached to it um, how his design then has influenced and modernized Barons today and it continues to be sort of the meter stick uh, that which a lot of drums are, are measured against you know and a lot of them fall short, and a lot of them, you know, are, are, are right up there with them. So Mr. O'Kane's enthusiasm for trying to refine and refine and refine and refine and go back again and again and again and again, you know, these are huge contributions, you know, if but by name alone, but by a continual ongoing design that, he's, that, that, that he not only stands behind, but has refined probably more than anyone else in the community. Um, his drum designs are timeless. They're classic. They're the solid bedrock for, in my opinion, the modern Baron, tunable Baron. And a lot of owners, you know, owe thanks to that as well because that design is what's generally today. Thankfully, the makers today have been able to be very creative and it's been tough to improve his design, but nonetheless, you know, those designs that have been improvements upon it owe their existence to this previous design. It's a very simple design, but it's elegant, it's simple, it looks good, it's a highly effective tuning system. And, you know, the man who basically converted, uh, you know, the brake, the brake tuning system for the single on top of the drum, that, the screw turning system, the use of lamb bag, um, and of course, new methods on how to construct drums is taken from lamb bag drummer makers. That is quite impressive, and you know I give a lot of thanks for that. And you know, going a little out of you know uh, uh, my comfort zone and talking with him, and getting schooled on some stuff, and getting a lot of emphasis to go out there and try to improve designs that's something that he's huge about constant relentless improvement is what Seamus O'Kane is about so that is my uh, uh, thank you video and I know it's not the first year finished yet but the first year is coming quickly to a close because Christmas season will come and God help us all uh, uh, but in the future, um, what's lined up for 2017. Um, hopefully by then I will have a much better camera than the one I'm using and I will be re-recording a lot of the videos so that they're of a better quality, um, a simpler quality. Um, also coming up in the new year there's a, I've been trying to get my own band together to do public playing. Hopefully I will be able to share some performances um, that 
you don't have to listen to me talking and playing on this camera. Uh, you can actually see me in action. Uh, I'll do a few of those videos. That would be nice. And hopefully I'll be able to interview more makers and bring you more product reviews as time goes on. So, yikes, car accident outside. Anyway, um, that ended badly, <laughs> but this will not end badly. So thank you again for watching my channel and for contributing what you can. To the makers, thank you for your donations, your friendship, and your constant support. And to the viewers, thank you for your, your critiques, your criticisms, your jokes, your jests, um, and the occasional insult, because the insults, believe it or not, are pretty useful. So thank you, and have a good one. Bye.